was messing up. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when a when men and women are afraid of light, and that's the truth. Romans eight thirty five. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril of a, or of sword? No. John fifteen eighteen. The word the the world hateth you. Ye know that it hateth me before it hateth you. Psalms twenty three four. Ye though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Joshua one nine. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee wheresoever you go. Yeah, be not do not be afraid, or like fear not, do not be afraid, is in the Bible three hundred and sixty five times he tells you that. He tells you that one day. He tells you, do not be afraid, 365 times. So you've got that for every day of the year. Luke 21, 12 through 19. This is what one of my favorites because I lived through this. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to synagogues and unto, in, into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to, uh, to you for testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate, before what ye shall answer, for I will give you the mouth, <coughs> excuse me, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist, and ye shall be betrayed by both parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends, and some of you shall they cause to put to death, and ye shall be hated of all men for my, my name's sake, but there shall not an hair on your head perish. In, the, in your patience possesses ye souls. John eight thirty two, And you will know truth, and the truth will set you free. Second Thessalonians 2 through 10. And with all wicked deception for those who are perishing, because they refuse to love the truth and to be saved. First Corinthians 12, 8. For to one is given through the Spirit, the, utter, the utterance of wisdom and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same spirit. 1 Corinthians 8.11 And so by your knowledge this weak person is destroyed. The brother for whom Christ died. The old sinner, I wrote a note, the old sinner, you, is destroyed when, and then it says how God makes you new. You're a new cre creature in God, a new person. Matthew 15.9 in vain do they worship me, teachings of doctrines, commandments of men. And that's what they're doing right now in the music industry. It's terrible. Go to my Jeremiah Cohen uh, playlist and watch his stuff. He exposes all that. Props to you, brother. You're doing good work. Uh, mm -hmm. Proverbs 2.6. That was Jeremiah Cohen. Props to you. You're doing good work, brother. I had to make sure I, you knew you heard me say that. Jeremiah Cohen, the, it's a playlist on there. I gave him all credit to that. I'm just showing his work. It's amazing. I'm doing that to like, I don't have time to do what he's doing. And that's like, God put that on my heart too. So you're doing perfect, man. Thank you. You're doing God's work. It's all glory of God. Proverbs 2, 6. For the Lord giveth wisdom from his mouth, come at knowledge and understanding. Acts 13, 41. Look, you scoffers, be astounded and perish, for I am doing a work in your days, a work that you will not believe, even if one tells it to your face. Colossians 4, 5, and 6. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasons with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man and woman. I'll add the woman part because that's how it is now. We, um, it's amazing. Uh, let's see. That's one of my notes. I'm just see if I can get a couple more. As far as I didn't cut off, that's probably going to be two separate videos. First Corinthians 3.18 Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. I became a fool and now I'm wise. I had my own business making six figures and everything. Sold it all and now look at me. I'm wise. I know where my soul's going. James 3.13 Who is a wise man and endowed with knowledge among you? Let him sow out of a good 
conversation, his works, with meekness and wisdom, like I'm doing right now. We need it. All people that can do this, do it now. Because we have to turn the darkness. Darkness is at a, We're at a standstill in this war. Light and darkness. We're literally at a standstill. Speak. Get it out there. We need to overturn this. Light always defeats darkness. Remember that. Everybody, everybody hold on to that sliver of light. Man, you got a light. You got to make that light burn right now, man. You, you had that little light just going there, man. Burn. Get bright. We got to turn the tides here. Our light defeats all darkness no matter what. Remember that. So you can see that with your own eyes. You can never. Dark can never put out light. No matter how small the light is, it, it will shine in darkness. It, light defeats all darkness. Elijah 5.13, Therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their their honorable men are are famished and their magnitude dried up with thirst. We're getting tired. Come on, people. Ho, Jose, uh, uh, Jose 4.6, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because... Thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shall be no priest to me, seeing thou has forgotten the laws of God, I will also forget uh, thou children. Second Peter 1, 2, and, 1, 2, and 3. Grace and peace be multi uh, multiplied unto you, though the knowledge of God in Christ Jesus, Yahushua HaMashiach, Emmanuel, According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain into life and good, uh, godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. Uh, I gotta get ready to close this out. These are like never give up scriptures. Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man. Uh, see. God is not a man. God is not a man that... He should lie, neither the son of man, that he should re, uh, repent. He said, he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Matthew twenty two twenty nine. 29. Uh, Christ Jesus, Yahushua HaMashiach, you are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. Get to know the scriptures and you know the power of God. Galatians 6, 9, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest. Psalms 118, 17, I will not die but live, and I will proclaim what the Lord has done. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to give you hope and a future. Deuteronomy 3, 22, do not be afraid of them. Thy Lord will fight, or thy Lord will your God himself will fight for you. I started getting ahead of myself. I knew that one in my head already. It's amazing when you can when you know scriptures like that. Just start when I write stuff down, I, I memorize them way quicker. Try writing scriptures down and you'll memorize them quicker. Philippians 4:13. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Him inside me. Romans 8, 3, 8 37. No, in all thing, no, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Elijah fifty four seventeen. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, though shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Ephesians six ten. Through 20, the full armor of God. Oh, I say I wear it every day. It's right there. I have it. It's got all the scriptures on it. All of them are defensive except for one, the offense, the mouth. Uh, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's uh, schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, and against the powers of of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, uh, you may be able to stand your ground. And after, and after you have done after you, I can't read my writing. That sucks. Cause I was about to get into it after you have done everything to stand, stand firm. Then with the belt of truth, Buckle around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness. 
Okay, I gotta turn the page. In place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up your shield. This is what I'm wearing. Take up, this is all these verses on, that I have right here on me every day. Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all flaming arrows of the evil one. That's anything that comes at you during your day. This, well, I don't, we don't worship idols. You know what I mean? The God in me. This just lets people know what I, what's in me. You know what I mean? What I do. That's why everything that comes at me just walks the other way. The devil flees from you when he's within you. As soon as they hear me speak wisdom and knowledge, and they realize I'm not just a run of the mill, they're not, whoa, he's different. This man is a real man of God. They turn around and walk the other way, or they want to know everything that I can tell them. They want to know more, or they realize what I am, and they got demons inside them, and they just, boom, gone. It happens all the time in my day. I wish I, I need somebody to walk, come with me in public and film me. And literally watch what happens because it's amazing. People wouldn't believe it. I need to do it. Like that guy from Living Waters does. I forget his name, but you're doing good work too, man. You're amazing. You and your team. Like I wish I could come around with you one day and see what my, what people do Like in my presence. It's all to the glory of God, but it's amazing that God can work stuff through me as he does. Um, but anyways... So that you know how your uh, your shield, I'm going to read this and go, extinguishes all the flaming arrows from the evil one. Take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for the Lord, the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak words, may be given or may be given me so that will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. But yeah, I'm gonna go with that one and I started hesitating then because I'm like I said I'm different and I can sense somebody about to walk up on me. I think my father is about to come up here and ask me if I'm hungry or something. It's gonna be cool. As soon as I turn this off he's gonna walk out. It's just weird stuff. When you're in the presence of God, he lets you know, like, everything around you. It's pretty crazy. Like, I know somebody's about to walk up and ask me a question in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and go. And it's just amazing. It's amazing what you can do when you uh, have God in you. Okay? This is Brandon Joshua in Virginia. I'm going to do my best to give you guys hope and, uh, and some positivity every day. Positivity every day. I know I can get riled up and show a little uh, aggression sometimes. But understand, it's sometimes, it's more so conviction and uh, it's just we got a lot going on. And, you know, we're growing famished. Stand up, please. Okay? We're at war. At mankind, literally. Okay? Rockefeller document, invasions of a planned pandemic, the uh, the binary blackout. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube called Monograph. Look him up. He's explaining it all. Richie from Boston. James True. Um, a lot of people. I, li I like the Big Sib. Uh... There's a there's a few of them on my list that I watch. There's not a whole bunch because there's only a, there's a there's a handful out there doing good works. I have a playlist of like a bunch of stuff. Check out my playlist. Uh, Jeremiah Cullen, he's doing a lot of stuff exposing the mu music industry to protect your children and also yourselves. So check it all out. Brandon Joshua from Virginia. Uh, just doing what I can, guys. All glory to God and uh, my Creator and uh, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. I'm a warrior for Him. Blessings. Keep your head up. Show love. God says love will defeat this. Love and compassion. Love your neighbors. Help your neighbors. We don't need this government. Reconnect to your lands. We can help each other. Okay? We have to. They've declared war on us. We know our enemy. God's opening a lot of eyes right now. Even the ones that didn't see or didn't want to admit it, stop self-soothing. This is a time to wake up. This is real life. This is why they've given you all the distractions. This is why you live in your virtual world on your phone to escape it. Stop. Your children are, are, are your children or our past generations need their forefathers. We are that. Our forefathers allowed us to grow up and live a life. We have to do that for the children under us. If we don't stand together now, we're gonna we will be they're they're turning this into a police state. We will be the number one, worse than China. We don't want that. We will never be allowed to go parks again. We will never be allowed to hold hands again. We will always have to stand. Those distances are prison distances. 
When you, if you go to jail or prison, they're telling you to stand those distances. That's what they do in prisons and jails and war prisoners. So you, the limit conversation is you remember a virus is created by your own body to heal you. Okay. Blessings from, from Virginia, Brandon Joshua.